hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm Harris and you're watching possible now so guys today i'm going to guide you about that how you can fix dxgi error device issue in marvel spider-man 2 in your pc and this video is going to be really interesting guys just watch the video till the end and if you're new in this channel kind of like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so guys method number one is you need to update your graphics driver so for nvidia users you need to open your geforce experience and uh, in the drivers tab uh, click on check for updates and it will automatically check for latest uh, drivers in your pc and for amd user guys you can do the same step in your red on software and the next thing guys you need to uh, adjust in game graphics settings so uh, if updating or rolling back the drivers didn't work then adjusting in game settings can help so launch spider-man 2 and go to the settings tab and go to graphics and turn off ray tracing and disable the frame generation and dlws and for nvidia user guys you can open your uh, nvidia control panel and in the left panel click on manage 3d settings and here you need to find the uh, shader cache size and select the 100 gp uh, recommended and apply the changes and restart your game and after that guys the next thing is you need to verify uh, your game files so for this you need to open your steam account and uh, find your game go to properties and in the install file option you need to click on verify uh, game files it will take some time and if your game uh, files is corrupted then it will fix uh, those files so guys after that uh, the next thing is you need to uh, turn off some settings so just follow my lead you need to go to your uh, research bar and in here you need to type settings and uh, in here you need to go to the uh, privacy option and uh, in the general tab you need to turn off uh, these four settings first and after that down below go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in the background and uh, after that cut back and now move to the gaming section and now here you need to turn off the game bar section and uh, turn on the game mode uh, after you uh, done that then simply close this and the next thing is we need to delete some bad or junk files in our pc so for this we need to press windows key plus r and here we need to type uh, prefix p r e f e t c h press ok click to continue control a select all and delete all of these uh, bad files in your pc skip the step and one more command we use here is uh, press window key plus r and here we use the temp percentage temp t e m p again percentage it's a second command click ok control a select all and delete these files also skip the step it will take some time guys so uh, don't worry these all are like uh, temporary or unnecessary files so after that you need to delete those files in the recycle bin also now guys in the end the last step we need to uh, free our cpu space so for this we need to open uh, the task manager and here uh, you need to free your cpu space here because background application or reason to uh, crash your game so that's why we need to turn it off just follow those application or software uh, then right click on it and uh, and task uh, that kind of programs and uh, after you uh, free your free up your cpu space then simply uh, restart your pc and now you're ready to run your game and now you can play your game without any lag freezing or any kind of crash so guys if this video helped kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out